up guys, Rare Spark here, and welcome to another episode of the NBA 2K16 Weekly News Update. Now this has turned into way more than weekly because 2K just keeps dropping us with a bunch of information, videos, trailers, all the good stuff. So props to 2K for doing that. But this is literally my first time watching this. So let's go ahead and watch. The NBA 2K16 presents Stephen Curry Beyond the Shadows. And what we're going to do in this video is first we're going to watch it all the way through. Just give myself a live reaction. And then we'll rewind it and break it down for the little things that I may notice. And the little details that I may have picked up on throughout the first time watching it. So let's go ahead, make sure my TV volume's all the way down. There we go, just making sure, because I don't want it to get caught up on the mic. So let's go ahead and do this. Here we go. Okay, 2K. E for everyone, obviously. This is a story of playing beyond the shadows. Going beyond the shadows cast by your height, your doubters, and every major conference school. Until you start casting your own shadows over scoring leaders. Top seeded tourney teams and all Americans. But some shadows don't die so easy. Okay. Barely six one and you won't ever be a true point guard in the NBA. With the seventh pick, the Golden State Warriors. Ah the Knicks had the eighth pick in this draft. Kills me. Play hard. Buckets. And eventually you're playing beyond the shadows. And casting your own. Let's go, Buckets. Oh my god. This is more about Stephen Curry, but. Look at that. So, what will your story be? Be the story. 2K16. Okay, 2K. This definitely got me hype for my team, so I'm gonna mute it now. As we go through it a second time here, and I'm going to break it down for you guys, the little things that I notice, and try and pause it on, like, any little bit of the gameplay that I see. Because, okay, let's go back. Mess that up a little bit. All right. So they show something here. So let's get ready. Okay, so this is, again, the free throw thing. But look at the detail. This is actually more zoomed in than the one they showed on Stephen Curry's Instagram. So the eyebrow game definitely needs a little work. I'll admit that to 2K. You know, they need to work on the eyebrow texture just a little bit. You know, maybe make it a little bit more vibrant. Or who knows, maybe that's what Stephen Curry's eyebrows don't look like. I don't know. I don't look at Stephen Curry enough to really know that. Uh, but I like the details under the eyes. You see the grooves and all the, you know, hours of effort in his eyes with how tired he looks a little bit. And then, obviously, the quality of the mouthpiece is actually quite impressive. It's a little opaque. Opacity is up there, so you can kind of see through it a little bit, which is realistic, but at the same time, it is blocking it out. So it's really cool. I like the way they, it really looks. They rendered it really well, in my opinion. So props to 2K for that, um, again, because we already seen that, but props to them for getting it right uh, with the way it looks. Now, the mustache detail looks real good, in my opinion. It's very faint, which is kind of what Stephen Curry has going on. Um, then he's got that little dot there. I don't know if I, I don't have a picture of Steph Curry, so I'm just gonna assume that's right. They have a little freckle or whatever over there on his side of his uh, mouth. And then the you know the little goatee he's got looks really good in my opinion. Hopefully they have something like that for your my career this year with that much detail and that fullness because that looks really good. So props to 2K right there. Let's skip ahead. Obviously they're gonna show a little bit of footage. So this is kind of. Um, foreshadowing what my career is going to be about this year. You're going to start, hopefully, at least in the rumors and everything, you're going to start in high school, work your way through college, and then you're going to go into my career. And that just sounds awesome. Especially for us YouTubers, you know I'm going to have to do a my career series if it's that detailed because it's going to be, it's going to be so much fun. And like I said during the live reaction, the Knicks had the eighth pick in that draft, so it kills me. He went, he went seventh. He could have just fell one more spot. The Knicks could have got Stephen Curry. But anyways, Stephen Curry is a beast. Uh, we ended up getting Jordan Hill in the draft, little known fact. Let's rewind right there. Um, and we'll look at the 2K footage right here. Hold on. Again, look at the detail. Obviously, they got the tattoos right. The uh, armpit hair is back, so that's good, I guess. Um, it's just a little detail. So, 
Again, props to 2K for making Stephen Curry look really good in this game. Uh, we get a first look at a couple of players in here. We got Kevin Love here. Uh, I think that's Mozgov. We got LeBron over here with no headband. LeBron's actually looking really good, at least from what I can tell. Iman Shumper right there. And obviously Kyrie Irving. Then you got Harrison Barnes. Uh, not sure who that is. I'm not going to lie to you. Can't really tell. I think it might be... Um, What's his name? I can't think of his name now. Draymond Green, maybe. I don't really. I can't really tell from here. It's a little far away. You got Andrew Bogut. So there's four of the Wizards players. I, don't, I mean, uh, Warriors players. I don't know where the fifth one is. He must be over here somewhere. So yeah, the uh, let's hold on. Let's check out the detail of the ball going through the net. The net physics are still a little shaky, but 2K's never got those 100% correct. I always felt like Live got that better, honestly. But what are you gonna do when you got an amazing looking game? If the net physics are really the only issue you have, whatever, right? So anyways, just more Stephen Curry stuff. Talking about proving the doubters wrong and all that good stuff. Kissing the trophy. So, again, talking about the shadows. What will your story be? Now, look at this. This is what I'm really impressed with. Look at the muscle definition in the arms. They got every little muscle here. The one here. You can see all of the muscles here on the arm. This muscle, the arm hair, it's just, it's really looking good. In the past, 2K didn't render arm hair, as far as I know, really well at all. Most of the guys look like they shaved their entire arms. And that's just not how it is, you know. So, props to 2K for rendering some arm hair on the dude. And it's really looking good, and I'm really excited. Now, I wish they showed the crowd here, but unfortunately, I guess they decided to hide it. But I wanted to see how realistic the crowd looked. What are you going to do? They're trying to keep it a surprise, I guess. But other than that, the graphics look phenomenal. Let's pause it one more time. Again, you can still see the definition, the muscles. You can actually see more. Uh, again, the details in the hand is what impressed me as well. They got all the little notches on your knuckles and all that good stuff. So 2K is bringing it out this year. For people that say they improved their graphics, I think we'll be in for quite a surprise. Now, it's not going to be a drastic change like 2K13 to 2K14 on Next Gen was because obviously... They're already pushing the limits of next gen with amaze how amazing it looks. Maybe in a few years we'll see a giant impact, but right now they're working towards it, and you see the little details being added into the graphics every year. And that's the one I really noticed this year is the you know knuckles on the hands. So again, just looking phenomenal. Props to 2K, great job, and uh, we're just gonna let this play through while I wrap up and. Like, just give my thoughts. Now, this didn't have as much gameplay footage as I would have liked, but, you know, what are you going to do? They're not really, it's not supposed to be a gameplay trailer. It's mostly supposed to be about Stephen Curry and telling you about what my career is kind of going to be about. And it's going to be about Beyond the Shadows and, you know, working toward getting Beyond the Shadows and all that theme. That's the theme that they're going with. So, I'm very excited for my career this year. I don't know if I'm going to be a, a super my career guy, but I'm definitely going to be posting a series. And uh, it'll most likely be me bringing back the big man, Chuck Norris. Yes, he will be making his return in NBA 2K16. I'm confirming it right now. Just decided it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my face scan on there, but then I'm going to make him look like Chuck Norris by adding the beard and all that good stuff. I mean, I don't look like Chuck Norris, but there's no real other way to use a face scan, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would, like, put a, you know, a Chuck Norris mask on or something like that and then do a face scan if I could. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of episode of the NBA 2K16 Weekly News Update. I'm very excited for this one, and I will leave a link in the description if you want to check out the trailer for yourself. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Rare Spark, out.